Hello! Today I will be giving some tips on how to create basic armor for your model and how to get them to animate correctly. Some important things to note about the armor in the customizable player models mod is the origin point of an armor piece will always follow the origin point of the corresponding body part. Therefore, if I were to move the origin point of the head, the origin point of the armor would also follow. But say if I were to move the head, which is separate to the origin point of the head, the armor will not follow. And if you wonder, how do I get an armor piece to follow a specific part of the body? There's a feature added to customizable player models called Copy Transforms. And what Copy Transforms allows to do is, allows for a different block that you've created to copy either the position, rotation, scale or visibility of another block. So for instance, the chest plate here, which is independent of the origin point of the chest plate, currently copies all the information of my body block. However, I rotate it. So for instance, if I rotate the main body, it moves and such. Uh, as you can see though, offset does not affect this because offset is completely visual, same with the size. Copy transforms only affects the rotation, position and scale. So, say your model has an articulated part on its body, for instance it could be the tail, it could be this leg that I've created which is made up of four parts, it could even be the neck, but I only want an armor piece on the foot down here to animate, which is my instance here. And say I have an animation that moves all these different parts on the leg, and I want it to be able to copy the transforms of the, the thigh, the leg, the foot, and the toes. And how do I do that? Well, the most easiest solution that I can do is I can duplicate the entire leg and for a moment at the bottom right corner of the screen there's a copy transforms from original button which the new duplicated option every single block that I have just copied has a copy transform to the original and I can take this and I can move it to the uh, left leg armor for instance and Bear with me for a moment, there's a little bit of Z fighting going on, and to remedy this is I can increase the MC scale of each of these body parts, so they are slightly larger and no longer clip into the, uh, into the main leg. And you see, now it looks a little off, I can easily go into the uh, texture and change the UV map. It is not possible to make a custom texture for the armor unless you make a model that appears on a arm animation. You cannot create specific texture for specific armor since it uses the original vanilla armor texture which applies for say leather, diamond, iron, you name it and it applies it to the model that you've created and it is up to you to use the UV map to take advantage of that texture and get it to apply onto the model how you want. One method that helps with modifying the UV of a model is the peer face UV mode which I can show here on my model I can edit the UV of each individual face on a block. So for instance, this controls the front face of the chest plate. I have one for the top, the side, and even the back, which you can't quite see. And to answer the question that I brought up earlier, what if I only want the foot to be covered with the armor, then because 
Copy transforms only copies. The rotation position and scale. What I can do on the pieces that I don't want to appear is set all the visual information to zero. Like so. And I also want the MC scale to be zero because that creates a tiny little block which is just barely perceptible. And then, say I rotate the leg now, any part that doesn't actually exist, it copies the transforms and it still animates. And that could be refined a little. I could do up the UV map and whatnot, and then I could have something like this that I have for the boot, which still animates when I move any other part of the leg that doesn't have an actual model, but it still has a part in it, which copies the transforms of these corresponding part blocks in the model. I hope these model pointers were helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.